it's so important the uh, the design aspect. So I'm going to put my uh, highlight. I've set this up because I want this color, the tomato, to overlap. Uh, you can keep uh, some of your line in watercolor. You can keep your line up here. Try to keep your horizontals uh, thin. I'm uh, laying this in immediately. You know why? This so I don't forget. We always break the color and watercolor. Now what you want to do is to look and make sure that there's not a puddle. Oh, sorry. Now we're going to go in and do our drawing. Correct our drawing. Now no one in the in the world is going to see that 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 bottle and they're going to say, hey, you know it wasn't green. And when you do your background, make sure you're nice and light. Just forget it and go for <laughs> just go for color and and exuberance. Watch. Don't go into your form, into your neighbor here. Anything that happens, anything that's kind of weird and and out of control is wonderful. And as it goes away from the object, the ambient light fills. Out. If you go into the background, you come through, you're, you, you're always overlapping. There's always... You want to look like you kind of are in charge here. Oh, oh, uh, now this, this is what I wanted, that infusion. Mm -hmm. That's my degree of infusion. Always when you do your highlights, try to keep a hard edge on top and a